Spencer, did you expect your defenses to be holding, or your defense to be holding teams to uh, less than ten points this far into the season? Uh, we did. <clears throat> As a defense, we knew that we could be good. Um, we knew that we could limit teams um, to very little amounts of scoring, and uh, and you know I I believed in our defense from the beginning, and so um, to us it's it's kind of like a lot of hard work paying off uh, rather than a surprise to you know the, to the, at the result of this point in the season. But no touchdowns in <coughs> 13 straight quarters now, I believe. I mean, that's still a guy to amaze you. Oh well, sure, yeah. I mean, anytime you pull something like that off, you're excited, and it, and it when you really think about it like that, I, I mean, it kind of wow. Um, I don't personally, I don't really keep. I didn't know that until you said it. Um, I know that we. It's been a while since teams have scored a touchdown on us, and but for for us, the way that we're trained, the way that we practice is just one down at a time, and and we really, I mean, we really take that to heart and and focus on that when uh, when we're out on the field that it's one play at a time, and you know they don't they don't gain a yard on this play, they don't score on this play, and then you know you, you play like that, and you put a bunch of plays together, you put quarters together, you put games together, and you, you can be successful. There's a lot of talk this week about Utah State possibly being the best team in the state. Do you guys take that personally at all? Um, <clears throat> I, I didn't know that, that was said either. I don't, I don't pay attention to it. I mean, I do this interview, but I probably won't even watch it. Um, I don't really pay attention to you guys very much. Sorry. <laughs> but um, but no, I, I we knew going in that um, we knew going in that that Utah State had a great team. And, uh, but like I said, I didn't know that that was said, but um, I, I don't really care what people say. You know, you play the game and find out, right? You didn't talk to your little brother? Have I talked to him? Yeah, I did. Um, and what I said is I would have done the same thing. I mean, the kid's punching his throat, and I, I didn't think it deserved a flag. I mean, he just pushed him, and he didn't knock him over. It wasn't anything. He didn't punch him or anything. I mean, there's plenty of pushing that goes on during the game, but... Um, when you take into consideration what was happening, I don't. I, mean, I would have done the same thing. He just beat me to it. it. Seemed like Keaton did have a lot of time to throw the ball at, the, at times, but couldn't find anybody open. Just talk about how you guys covered their receivers so well. Talking to me? Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Oh. In a corner and all. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I think a lot of it. <coughs> excuse me. I think a lot of it goes to uh, just Coach Manuel just calling the right plays. Uh, in in certain passing situations, you know, we'd be dropping eight men in coverage, so. You know, that, that's going to allow, you know, with a three-man rush, he's going to have a little bit more time to throw. But um, I think it just comes down to playing your 111th and just, just holding your assignment. And I think that was the thing that Coach Manuel really emphasized at halftime was just um, staying on our man while he was scrambling. And so I think uh, second half we did a, a lot better job as far as that goes. Despite the fact that it was such a low-scoring game, does a victory like this mean a lot more to you than a blowout like last week? Man, I, we're just like a win's a win for us, you know. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take it any way. I think our, our team is pretty uh, pretty scrappy in that way. Um, it definitely, you know, it, it was fun being out there, you know. I, I think I might have I lost a couple years off my life, just, you know, kind of <laughs> distressed at times. But uh, it was fun, though. So any, any way we can get away, uh, you're always going to come out smiling, I think. <clears throat> You have a lot of high expectations for this defense, but the fact that they haven't even given up a touchdown in over three games now, what's your reaction to that? That doesn't seem possible. I think it's just us doing what Coach Menhall asked us to do. Uh, just at the beginning of the year, uh, he asked us if we want to be great, and we all you know, we all raised our hand and said that we want to be great and we'll do whatever we need to do. And it goes back down to how we practice. And, you know, Coach, Coach Menhall, he pushes us really hard. And, you know, he's pretty good at sometimes getting under your skin, but I think it shows, though, in – on the games uh, by how well our defense plays. Is it going to be a letdown when you finally do give up a touchdown? If you finally give up a touchdown? You know, as a defensive player, I think you just got to have amnesia. You know, if they score, they score, and just on to the next play. But anytime someone scores, I get offended. Yeah. <laughs> you guys had another goal line stand today. What what goes through the defense? What's it like when you're there on the one yard line again? Man, we just tell them just bring it. Like you don't forget stuff like that. Yeah, we just, just like. That's what we. I mean, that's why we practice is for those situations. And so, you know, we just put our best against their best, and uh, you know, you saw what happened.
when you guys talk about containing Chucky Keaton, how you guys kind of kept him you know, going off? Um, yeah, I, he's a great athlete, and I mean, as you saw in the game, it wasn't very easy. He, he got out, and he made some plays with his legs, but um, we, <clears throat> we focused on... Um, in our pass rush, keeping your pass rush lanes, not creating big holes for him to step up and scramble, and um, <coughs> and working kind of more uh, man on man and, and trying to drive their guy back rather than running around him or you know putting a move and, and opening a hole. So uh, we focused a lot on that this week, knowing uh, the type of athlete that he is. Um, we we practice you know keeping a, a kind of a flat wall as a defensive line as we. As we, you know, try to collapse the pocket on him and, and contain him, tough thing to do. Great player. Anything else? Okay. Sweet. Thanks. Thanks.